to cut my chuck roast beef more like a slightly bigger than a bite size because you know the beef will shrink as you cook it typically it takes about an hour and a half for this one for a medium heat and it'll shrink so about that size for the chuck roast beef Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Just want to show you a little bit of my outdoor kitchen. It is a temporary setup until we get something built and more permanent of an outdoor kitchen. For now, this is how I set up the table with the, uh, um, gas the gas burner. And then of course, the items that you need and the soapy water and clean water. So that's what you need basically for an outdoor kitchen. Well friends, today we'll be preparing a chuck roast beef soy sauce stir fry and uh, so it's beef soy sauce stir fry so to, we're gonna need some oil canola oil is what I use you can use vegetable oil I'll just put in maybe half a cup because we have about a pound of beef and I have about maybe six to seven shallots one whole onion and uh, a sleeve of ginger and one whole elephant garlic cut up in chunks and put in a, a food processor. The oil is already hot. Put it on a medium heat and then you just want to brown your onion. Now, if you can't find your elephant garlic, you can use about maybe six cloves of your uh, garlic. Basically, want to roast it. Smell the aroma. It smells good. Till it's light, maybe brown on medium heat. Well, this is all nice and toasty and light brown. This is how you want it to look. Next ingredient, we'll have some cinnamon sticks. Cinnamon sticks, I like to have about maybe five of them. We have these cloves, and this is star anise, and this is cardamom. We only need one cardamom. We put them in the fried sauteed onions that we processed. Put them all in there. And this is where the aroma is going to really come out. Let it sit a little bit more, and then we'll throw in the beef. Look how roasty it looks, guys. The aroma smells so good. This is blended chili. It's almost like sriracha, but it's blended chili, Thai chili with vinegar. I make it my own, but you can find it in stores. It's called sambal ole, or just any chili grounded. So I use a teaspoon only, because not everybody can handle the heat, but I use a teaspoon so everybody can have a little spice, but not too much. Put the chili in, and let's put our beef. This Malaysian cuisine will take about an hour and a half to cook because you really got to cook the meat down, the beef, down until it's really tender. 
Usually that's how long it takes for a pound of chuck roast beef. Halfway done, then you add your soy sauce. stir in evenly for all the blended processed onions and all those really good then you put the lid on it Just about right there. Make sure your heat is medium. And check on it every 15 minutes or so to make sure, stir it every 15 minutes or so so that you won't burn some parts of the, your meat. And we'll put a lid on it. 15 minutes. So we're checking on it now. See how it looks. So when the, it looks a little roasty. Okay. And look how brown, kind of brown the meat. I came to visit and this is the soy sauce one of my favorite soy sauce and it's a pearl river bridge mushroom flavored dark soy sauce i use about a fourth of a cup is a salty uh, is a sweet soy sauce brand from ABC sweet soy sauce and it's a dark soy sauce and I use about a fourth of a cup also and I know in my last video I did use some MSG this for this cuisine for this dish we don't need uh, the MSG so we stir it up guys checking on things here and it's really toasty and good and what I'm gonna do in the soy sauce is really soak into the meat I'm gonna add maybe half a cup of water in here just so it'll soak in more and all that flavor will be your sauce so it's like your own gravy you don't need much water just have a cup and see the consistency now just let it sit on medium heat for maybe another 30 minutes and this should be done. Can't wait. Hey guys, this has this is ready. It's been a long process, but well worth it. And the sauce is still there. I gradually had to add a little bit more water. So I would say when you check your uh, your beef and stir it around every five, 10 minutes because it does take a process, an hour and a half or so, but um, gradually add water if you see it drying up a little bit. But the soy sauce that has already been soaked into the meat, when you add the water, the gravy will continue to pr produce. So that's what you're seeing here, is the gravy has uh, been producing with the meat. There's a lot of gravy still, and that will go over your rice. Today I cooked basmati rice. One day I'll show you a clip of that. And so I'll add the uh, just a little bit of sea salt. I know soy sauce has a lot of seasoning already, a lot of salt in it, salty. But really 
the sweet soy sauce counterbalance this the salty saltiness from this mushroom soy sauce so you add a little bit more just for flavor and then the black pepper is last I like it coarse and I just put it all over just a little bit of heat stir it up a little bit the aroma. I wish you can smell it. it smells good. Cinnamony, some star anise smell, and the cloves all mixing it. Well guys, this is ready. Well there you have it guys. This is our plate full of our soya sauce uh, beef stir fry and uh, basmati rice. If you like what you see today, don't forget to subscribe, like, Hit the bell and share. Thanks again. See you next time, guys. Bye.